Okay, guys. I'm here to give you my predictions for this Sunday's 2015 Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Um, of course, this will air live on the WWE Network this coming Sunday, January the 25th. Uh, and there are five matches. Ironically enough, four, three tag matches on this show. That's quite a lot for the Royal Rumble, I must say. Uh, I am not going to do a prediction of the kickoff match, uh, so don't ask. I'm going to predict. I'm going to do predictions for the main show, the five main matches on this show, and I'm going to start with the match between the Bella Twins and Paige and Natalya. Uh, my prediction for this match is. I'm going to guess the Bella Twins win this match. No real reason, really. It just wouldn't surprise me if the Bella Twins did win the match. So, uh, yeah, so no real reason. The Bella Twins win their match. The next match is the WWE Tag Team Championship match. The Usos versus the Miz and Miz Dow. Uh, Usos are going to win this match, so... This is the match, and I think the Royal Rumble and this is going to help play a part in this, of Miz and Mizdow splitting off and most likely having their match at WrestleMania. If the WWE has any brains in their head, of course. <laughs> but, uh, so clearly the Usos will win this match. If Miz and Mizdow win, I'd be surprised, but my prediction for this match is the Usos to retain. Uh, Next match, the Ascension versus the New Age Outlaws. Uh, I'm going to go with the Ascension because it's the most logical move to do. Have the Ascension beat one of the all-time great WWE teams and it helps them back up their claim that they've been making. Uh, so, and on top of that, the Ascension should win this match. There is no reason for the Outlaws not to. There's no reason for the Outlaws to win this match. There's not a logical enough reason for the Outlaws to win this match, so the Ascension will win. Uh, so, next is the Triple Threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Brock Lesnar, John Cena, and Seth Rollins. Um, Seth Rollins is not going to win this match. He was put in this match, I think, for two reasons. Number one, so he can eat the pinfall or submission. And number two, so the Philadelphia fan base does not entirely crap on this match like they did with Cena and Orton last year at the Royal Rumble when the Pittsburgh crowd totally buried that match. So Rollins will probably at least avoid them from doing that. Uh, Rollins ain't winning, and I don't think Cena wins. I think Lesnar's going to win. Uh, and I think the finish is going to be one of two things. One, either Rusev costs John Cena the match, which allows Lesnar to beat Cena and throw off Cena Rusev at Mania, or Randy Orton returns and RKO's Rollins, and that allows Lesnar to win. Either way, I see Brock winning this match and then going on to face the winner of the Royal Rumble for the championship at WrestleMania. Uh, if Cena wins, well, what I think is going to happen at the Royal Rumble would make more uh, for WrestleMania wise would make more sense if Cena wins, but I don't see that. So, but though they can surprise me, but Brock Lesnar is my prediction to win this match. Uh, so, that brings me to my prediction for the 2015 Royal Rumble match. As I told you in the 2014 Royal Rumble, I normally predict multiple people. Now, I do think there is one clear-cut person who will emerge victorious at the Royal Rumble, but I'm going to give you at least three or four picks for the Royal Rumble that I think have a logical chance, like I did last year. 
Now, the obvious pick, and will be my pick to actually win the Royal Rumble, or at least my main pick to win the Royal Rumble, is Roman Reigns. I think that they are building towards Roman Reigns winning the Royal Rumble, a lot like they were with Batista last year. I think it's almost set in stone Roman Reigns wins the Royal Rumble, and if he doesn't, I'd be surprised. Uh, second pick is Daniel Bryan, but that's only really because I think the WWE might decide to right their wrong from last year of not having Bryan in the Rumble by having him win the Royal Rumble. But I think that would be a waste of a Rumble win because, honestly, you got WrestleMania moments that you needed last year from Daniel Bryan. When he beat Triple H and then beat Orton and Batista, that was the WrestleMania moment right there for Daniel Bryan. It was the right one that needed to happen anyway. So you still got it, but I am going to predict Daniel Bryan went uh, as a favorite, as a prediction for the Royal Rumble. Uh, another prediction I'm going to do for the Royal Rumble is Dolph Ziggler. Uh, just because coming out of Survivor Series, I think that maybe they were they're trying to build him to be the winner of the Royal Rumble. I don't think he's going to win the Royal Rumble, but I'm throwing, but he is a prediction to possibly have a chance at the Royal Rumble come, you know, Sunday. But like I said, these other picks are more of just to give you reasoning why they could win the Royal Rumble. Uh, so. And my final pick to possibly win the Royal Rumble will be Dean Ambrose. Just because if they are ready to pull the trigger of Dean Ambrose, this would be the time to do it and have him win the Royal Rumble match. Because with Ambrose's character, it would not matter whether it's Cena or Lesnar. He'll fight both of them for the championship, so you wouldn't need to turn him heel for any of for any reason of that. Uh, but so my main pick for this is Roman Reigns. Okay, that is my main individual pick for the Royal Rumble, is Roman Reigns. And I even throw it out to you that it's probably going to come down to Roman Reigns and the Big Show, and Reigns will eliminate the Big Show to win the Royal Rumble. Uh, so. Uh, honestly, though. And I, I see another thing. I see that Kane will, I predict Kane probably breaking Shawn Michaels' all-time elimination record by getting at least two more eliminations. Because if he gets two more eliminations, he will obviously break Shawn Michaels as the all-time elimination leader in the Royal Rumble. Um, I think we'll have a first-time Royal Rumble winner because... As far as I know right now, there are no former winners of the Royal Rumble match in the Royal Rumble this year. So, uh, that would be the first time since 2004 that there had not been a previous Rumble winner in it, if there ends up not being a previous Rumble winner in it. Uh, and if they don't officially hope the Miz Miz out break up during the tag title match, I see it happening during the Rumble because I see the Miz out remaining Miz. Uh, as some of the as a few spots for the Royal Rumble, um, I don't. I'm not going to try to predict who number who don't make number one and two. Uh, I'm going to guess somehow Daniel Bryan ends up being number one and goes to like the final four or something like that. Uh, so those are my predictions for the 2015 Royal Rumble. If you agree with them, tell me in the comments down there, or just give me some of your predictions down there in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button down there, the subscribe button down there, uh, and um, I'll probably have the Royal Rumble review up sometime Monday, uh, sometime Monday. Uh, so and um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching.